Okay, so this is a, a little bit uh, different, a little odd. Uh, this is the music desk or the music stand for the piano. Uh, and you can, well, you can see right there, I have three screws there, three screws there, and then three screws there. I think, yeah, this one, this one on top is missing all its screws. I was just doing a little playing and all of a sudden the, uh, the desk kind of collapsed. Uh, and so the screws are inside the piano. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to show you how we take apart the piano. So it's, I don't know, if you're into, into it, here it is. Um, I'll just set that there. So actually what I have to do, uh, I think the holes that the screws go into are stripped or they're not catching. So uh, my technician gave me the uh, tip. You can take a, um, really like a chopstick or um, a, a toothpick and basically break them into that hole to create less space and glue it in, let it set, and then screw the screw back into the uh, the hole that has now you know more wood in it just to just so it can catch. Uh, but okay, so we can come down to the piano. Oh, I'll just, I'll just take so here's the piano, and underneath here, yeah, we've got this big screw, and then down over there, there's another big screw. And so what I have to do is unscrew it, and then I'm going to pull the whole piano out. Stay tuned. Where's that? So of the uh, flathead. <laughs> so that's that guy. All right, so now I have to take this off, which is just, you know, just sitting just sitting in these little uh, little uh, pressure holes, like almost like dowels on your um, <clears throat> Ikea furniture. Right, oh right, take this off. Sometimes I get a little, little stuck. Oh, oh, there we go. So this guy, you see that joint right there? This is simply just, it's just sitting on a pressure on that, uh, that nub, that dowel again. So this piece just sits like that, and then it kind of sits in the piano. So I'll take that off, put this aside. So now you can just, okay, a little involved here. But there we have the sort of empty spot where, where that piece next to the piano sits flush. It almost looks like one solid piece, but it's not. Isn't that cool? Kind of mechanism looking thing and then some fun numbers for, I don't, you know, the, the make of the piano, all the info that you need. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you. So this is what the piano looks like on the inside. And there are these, these things right here that I sort of gently pull everything out. So now I just kind of grab, you can see this little piece here. And I've done this several times with my technician during COVID. And you'll notice, I mean, look at all these little pieces. I think there's something at 12, 13 different joints and different screws for 88, all 88 keys. It's very uh, extensive. But what I'm doing right now, I'm just inching it out very slowly because the screws, and you'll notice, see these are all the, the hammers, aren't they gorgeous? They just clear, they just clear the piano. Okay, so now, I'm resting this whole thing. I'm resting this whole thing on my lap. And right now, 
I see three, thankfully, I see three screws over here. See, I just pulled these hammers up. And, huh, I probably need some tweezers because they are down there pretty good. Let's see. I don't know if you can see those. Three screws. They were on the back of that music desk. They were back there. And now they're stuck. So I think I need to get some tweezers. Okay. Well, that was a lucky break. The uh, needle nose pliers was, well, I thought it was magnetic, but anyway, got that little, got that little screw. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness for the magnetism. I was able to get that guy. Okay. Uh, they weren't... <clears throat> oh, hello. They weren't actually causing any problems, except that they were just sitting on the hammer. So you can see that beautiful, every single one of these has wonderful, you know, alignment. And um, this is where, this is one of the expenses, one of the expenses and most expensive parts of piano care is having someone come and not just tune it, but when they do voicing and the technical side of it, um, by checking the, oh, I'm on a, I'm on a uh, camera stand, by checking every, every single uh, joint, every single screw. One of the things I had to do during COVID, my technician couldn't come see me. Uh, we went, I went through every single one of these black headed screws and tightened and made sure roughly that the, as you can see a little bit, there's a little variation there, but hopefully they're all lined up perfectly. And then I'm gonna slide it back in and it's gonna, they're all gonna line up perfectly with their corresponding string. I know it's a, it's a marvel of, uh, of mechanics that this all works, honestly. So let's see if I can, if I can do this. The stand will let me, it will stay. Okay, so. Actually, this is a good view as any. So I'm gonna gently, you can see it right there. It's just, they just, just make it. I mean, this is all measured so elegantly. It's kind of amazing. The trick is not to rush it. <laughs> I'm impatient. But they just kind of side to side, feed it back in. It's slowly, it's just, it's one, it's one solid piece. And you know, I, I've been very nervous about this, but like my technician's like, it's fine. Just go slow. It goes back in. Now, the other thing I've noticed, um, with the, can you see, you can kind of see it moving here. Let me get this out of here. So when I press the soft pedal, the unicorda, It moves everything again. I'm not quite sure exactly how, but what I've noticed is when it when it moves like that, it actually is setting the keyboard sort of back into its position where it needs to be, which is kind of cool. So now, so now uh, I have to reassemble everything, <clears throat> and I think the first thing I need to do is put this. Is this the fall board? It's the piece that goes in front of the piano that has the name on it. You'd recognize it, right? Um, I have to take these two pieces, put them into joint, into place, and then move the whole thing back. Come on, there we go. So this whole thing fits right like what it should be easy easy peasy there we go so now that's back in place and again it's just two pins or two pins out Holding those those two little side pieces. Now, I'll put this piece back. You you you. If you've ever played piano, you've probably played with this piece. 
it's that front piece, or maybe, I don't know, maybe it's just me. Uh, sometimes they come out really easy. Thanks. Bye.